and it's running. It's not uh, fully up to speed yet. This is a variable speed. Mitsubishi. We did get some American Standard logos we could also put on here. It's blowing nice and cold. Whip looks really nice. Got the lion hide that goes up 17 feet. The suction line is nice and warm. Got the condensate drain that will be used in the summer. Two and a half ton from August of 2023. And this is a heat bump. And there it's, now it's up to speed. And man, that thing is quiet. And it's blowing up nice and cold. I got the surge protectors here too. New stand. Very, very happy with these units so far. And we've only had them for not even an hour. They haven't even been installed an hour yet. No frost, it is running in heat mode. It's 60 something degrees right now. Definitely try to get some defrost here pretty soon. Um, probably could get one this Thursday because it's supposed to be pretty cold in the low 30s. And I mean, step back, you can't even hear that thing. Very, very happy with this thing. And as you can see, we got the second one right there. We're gonna go start up right now. And it looks like this one is already running. So I'll get a startup of this one at a later date. It looks like this one just turned on because the fan is going pretty slow. Um, I, I will get a startup of this at a later date. This one's going to run a little bit more just because it uh, has more open space in the area it does. But it's also running in heat mode. See, this one had to run the line set behind the unit and go up. And then there's the condensation line right there. And then the whip right here also got a surge protector. New stand. This thing is amazingly quiet. And this is the same exact thing. 2023. That is nice and cold. And I mean, you cannot hear this thing at all. Here is the indoor unit for the, the unit that I turned on. The first one. Oh, that is really strong. That's blowing out nice and hot. Still smells brand new. Here's the remote. See, I set it to 72. I'm usually gonna keep these on around 70 or 68 or something like that. We're not down here all that often. Started at um, 7.30, ended around 4.30. And you can, you can see it's 4.50, so that was, things have been installed 20 minutes. Let's go take a look at the other one. Here's the other one. Identical. This one's not blown out as hot because it's running at a lower power. Let's go get the remote. Yeah, this one said it's 63. We're going to bump that up to 68. Actually, we'll go 66. So that thing's going to rev up outside most likely. And we have to shut these doors. We usually keep these doors open. But now, since we have this thing, we don't want any heat getting out. It's still going to get out a little bit up there, but that's all right. It'll still work. It already cycled once. Both of them did. Yep. Let's go outside and shut the other unit off. This one I'm going to keep right here. I'll get a startup shutdown of it on a separate date. And let's go see if this one revved up outside. Let me just see. It's blowing a lot stronger and a little bit hotter, so it probably did. Let's go see. Oh yeah, she's nice and revved up now. Running just as powerful as the other one. Sounds the exact same thing, blowing out nice and cold. Looks like it's already got some bugs on it. That's all right. nice and quiet you can't hear the compressor up until you get right next to it same with the fan they both got 410a yeah that line's nice and hot in fact the line on that one was so hot that it started bubbling we thought it had a leak 
Turns out it was just evaporating something on the line set because it got so hot. It's working too well. <laughs> All right, let's go shut. Let's go shut this one down. That one, like I said, I'm gonna keep because it's at 66. But this one should shut off. So let's get into that. And just so I could tell them apart, I slept an American Standard logo on this one. What brand is it? We may never know. <laughs> 